My name is Charlie Sextrum with Senior Programmers here. And I guess we officially kicked off the Midnight Section last night with the new documentary from Alexander Philippe. But that film screened at 9 p.m. This is the very first actual Midnight Screen here at the library. With all you maniacs who show up here uh, each year, um, really excited because uh, I get to introduce the world premiere of The Lodge from director uh, uh, Veronica Franz and Severin Fiala. Uh, this, yes. uh, I'm assuming we have uh, a lot of fans here of their last uh, project together, Good Night Mommy. Uh, yeah, if you didn't see that, you're in for a treat. Uh, you have no idea what's headed your way. Um, but yes, we, with the whole programming team, is so excited to be able to showcase the new work from this incredibly talented duo. And I'm very happy that tonight they're all going to implant this new nightmare in all of your brains. Please welcome up director Ronnie Franz and Severin Fiala. Good evening. How dare you? Good evening, everyone. Good midnight. Very glad you all showed up for the screening, like for the world premiere. We're very proud. Yes, we have a ticket, it says the lodge, it says Sundance, we cannot believe it. Now yes, it's real. Which is good. We're like super, super, super nervous, so yes. sorry for us like, stuttering and we don't want to take too much of your time because as we always discuss, like, what should we say before the movie and the answer is like always... Uh, Nothing. <laughs> So I think the less, the less you know about it, the more fun you might have. I mean, fun yeah. might be the wrong word. But maybe we should thank some people? We can thank some people. <laughs> I mean, this won't spoil your fun. We'll do it briefly. It will. <laughs> yeah. So, thank you so much for having us here. Um, and also, of course, to our producers who paid for all of this. <laughs> Don't know oh, why. <laughs> And also to our amazing uh, cast and crew, without uh, whom this, of course, would not have happened. So we are really proud and excited and super nervous. Yes. And please stay. Okay. Please stay for a good day and be prepared for the first time we see the finished film, because actually we only finished it two weeks ago. So. <laughs> have fun or not fun, but please stay and enjoy our enjoyment. Yes. Thank you. You survived, obviously. <laughs> so, thanks so much that you stayed like, for, for talking to us. First of all, we'd love like, to thank and welcome and, and uh, get out to the stage like all the people who helped us, like maybe starting with our amazing cast, uh, Riley. Riley! Uh, <laughs> Dion. Dion. Richard. Ola. Okay. There was our producers like from Emma Film, Alisa James, and from um, Film Nation, Aaron Ryder. Aaron Ryder. <laughs> our production designer, Silvana Netta, and our editor, Michael Palm. <laughs> the very great musicians, uh, Sandy Williams and Ben Bendy. And everyone that we might have forgotten. <laughs> <laughs> we nevertheless so appreciate what you did for the film. Thank you so much. Hi. Uh, <laughs> she's still here at least. I don't know. Did you watch it? Hmm? Did you watch it? Yeah. <laughs> How was it? <laughs> well, thank you. <laughs> And actually she, actually, she was never scared during shooting, so we tried to scare her, we failed, so <laughs> tonight. <laughs> oh my gosh, I was startled, even though I knew what was going to happen, I was like... <laughs>
it's like it's so different like doing a movie and watching it obviously because like while we're doing it it was most of the time rather silly maybe yeah. sorry do you want to talk about that just to kind of i mean it's such an intense film like what is the energy like on the set um yeah. with you guys with casting and directing yeah. you, you want to say something <laughs> oh sorry maybe. um yeah i mean it's really scary. I, that was the first time I saw it. Um, it was not like that on set. Um, it was actually really fun. I felt, I mean, it was. Um, I think when, when we were working with children, you know, it was important to not terrify them every day. So <laughs> I feel like we tried to keep it light. And, you know, yeah, after watching that, it's pretty. <laughs> you would think it's always the opposite. I think comedy is it must be so terrifying being on set. <laughs> With horror films, mainly great. Actually, it was like a script that uh, had been offered uh, to us by Hammer Film, so it was always English, but we translated it back to German. And then back to English. And then back to German. And then back to English. 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 You really don't want to know all of this, but actually, like for us to like to a pass of our own and the rewrite we needed to retranslate into German because I think it uh, it's easier for us to write in German and it gives yourself some distance in a way. So it feels different and it's kind of easier to evaluate if it's like working or not. So we translated it back and forth like more often than producers I guess uh, would have wanted us to. <laughs> Wanna say something Alisa? <laughs> Yeah, it was a very interesting process because yeah, we had a Scottish writer. We got the script from a Sc Scottish writer, and then Veronica and Severin came on board, and we all worked together. Um, and then, yeah, they, they did a they did their beautiful rewrite, <laughs> which had to be in German. Just so that, yeah, it was quite a process. <laughs> Beyond that, we actually had a, uh, a Scottish writer, two Austrian directors, a French Canadian crew, a Greek DP. English producers, American actors, American producers. It was as you cannot imagine the international difficulties. And thank God everybody kind of grasped on the English. And that was the one thing that bound us all together. But it was uh, very much in English, a, uh, an international production, to say the least. Yes? Um, so I'm always interested with uh, filmmakers who create horror. Um, is the supernatural kind of horror? Uh, what kind of creeps you out personally, or is it uh, like is there a certain type of kind of horror that kind of affects you the most? Yeah, I think like reality freaks us out most. <laughs> <laughs> so we think that's actually the scariest, and every piece of horror like connected to like the real world feels like uh, most scariest to us at least. So we feel if it's like all about like CGI monsters. I'm actually maybe entertained, but never really scared. But as it, as it as it gets closer to reality and also closer to yourself, I think it touches something in yourself and it has the ability to scare you more and stay with you even after it's uh, done. Maybe not the answer you're looking for, but it was a very weird process because Aaron said the DP was Greek and he's kind of personally not a horror guy, which was also why we picked him because we felt okay, let's like let's pick people who are like very far from this genre and have them work in this field because we thought we felt there might be something interesting coming out of that collaboration. And the DP actually he was like completely in his own world. And we had to, like, we gave him the script, we acted it out for him, we drew it together with him, we acted it again, Aaron tried to tell him what the scene was about. So it was really like in his own, in his own world and in his own mind, but I think that's his great also talent. He's maybe not like 
so much interested in storytelling, but he actually really got the feel the whole film should have and the why he got it really well and maybe even at some point better than ourselves. In a and way. he's a master of like using natural light, so he just kind of moves a little bit the curtain and it looks great. So he's he's not so much into kind of putting up like lots of like artificial light. And we really liked that. So uh, it was hard obviously for the night night scenes. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, so we, we so we worked on that, and we wanted to have it like that. And like one of our main or our first uh, things we thought of was like because the dollhouse plays like a, a big part of the film and how it's connected to reality. So we felt our, our first discussion with the DP were how could we bring this uh, dollhouse feel like to the actual lodge? How can we make this look like a dollhouse or feel like a dollhouse? And how could we film that? And we did lots of uh, tests to make the actual place also feel a bit like a dollhouse. Uh, like, yeah. Hmm. <laughs> I mean, actually, we experienced a lot of the religious stuff, so, but we never experienced exorcism, maybe that's right. <laughs> no, it's hard to say because we love exorcism also. <laughs> maybe next time. And maybe actually the guy, like, the yeah. guy playing the Let's priest at the funeral, he's an actual exorcist. And we only had him play the part because he was an exorcist and we liked that. But um, yeah, I don't know actually. I think we just tried to... Um, it was all like in the, basically in the script that we got and then we tried to take seriously what was written there and kind of develop the character with Riley and also like in rewriting the script and there was actually like no part for, for exorcism, unfortunately, because we liked it, but we just tried to take this trauma seriously and, and kind of take it further and think it through and, and ask ourselves what it might do to this character. Time for one more question, no, we don't very back. Yep. Yeah, I, I noticed that um, there's a parallel that I saw between this film and Good Night Mommy, which is uh, children causing mischief, extreme mischief. And, <laughs> and parents. If that's, if that's something that you're particularly drawn to and attracted to as filmmakers. I mean, as we see it actually, and as our mothers see it, <laughs> Um, I think it's not, not really about children causing anything or parents causing anything. I think it's just like, it's difficult because also in that film, I think there is no, not a single bad guy in a way, and everyone tries to do their, their best. And sometimes they fail or they do stupid things, maybe, but they really mean it well in a way. And also the kids, like, it's kind of, there is at one point no other way out for them, and they're just like, um, it even want to take it back in a way, but it might, it might be too late for that. So that was what interested us, not showing like evil children, but uh, showing a situation that gets out of control and then everyone tries to take it back, but they can. So what's so interesting about children is their innocence and how, how you can kind of lose that maybe or how you deal with that. And actually, it's about innocence of all the people, I think, in the film, in a way. Let's give a final round of applause to the team behind the lines.